So you've prepared your listing and it's up on Amazon. Great. But is anyone actually going to see your listing? Have you got your keywords in place? Is the Amazon algorithm going to find those keywords relevant for your product? In today's video, I've made a part two to the listing optimization video that I made last week. Only in today's video, I'm gonna be using the Scribbles tool, which is a listing optimization tool in Helium 10. If you don't have Helium 10, you should still watch this video because you're missing out on a one-stop shop tool. If you do have this tool, you're probably not using it properly, so make sure you watch the video to the end. The Amazon algorithm works on keyword relevancy. If you are missing keywords in place, it'll take a long time until the algorithm will even find your product relevant for a keyword. So make sure before you complain about your lack of sales being because of PPC for example, maybe it's your listing, maybe you're not getting impressions on your PPC because Amazon doesn't even find specific keywords relevant to your product. But before we get into my computer, if this is your first time meeting me, my name is Sharon, I'm a seven figure Amazon FBA seller, a mother, a wife, an entrepreneur and an FBA coach. I made this channel so I can share information on Amazon and on entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me to grow the channel and also hit the notification bell so you know when I bring out more videos. Let's get started. All right, so we are now inside of my computer. So we're going to be using um, just one tool, which is Helium 10, but within Helium 10, we're going to be using three different um, tools in order to get to the final tool, okay? So we're gonna be using Cerebro. From Cerebro, we're going to export to Frankenstein, and from Frankenstein, we're going to export to Scribbles, and that is where we're going to have our um, final results and um, to be able to sort of see what sort of keywords are we missing out on. So because there's so many different processes to it, it looks complicated, it's really, really straightforward. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to get keywords. For me personally, the way that I prefer to get keywords is from um, ASINs that are selling really, really well within my niche. Um, because if, they've been, if they're selling really well, if they've been around for a while, they are most probably indexed for quite a few keywords. Um, so I want to use them as an example. So again, I'm going to be using the milestone blocks as an example. I consistently use um, this as an example. I really should do something else. But anyway, I feel like I already sort of know this niche because I've used it so many times in my videos. So I'm going to take these two um, products simply because they are the best sellers. They're by the same brand, but um, it's still two separate products. And um, this one has a BSR of 7,930 and this one of 9,135. So they're both selling pretty well. I mean, that's a pretty good BSR for the baby department. So I'm going to grab both of their ASINs. So I'm gonna copy that. And I am gonna paste that into Cerebro. I will also grab the other one. I could grab a few of these. I may grab one more and paste. And let's choose one more. I'm going to grab this one as well because they also have a low BSR and paste. And now I am going to click on get keywords. For those of you who don't know what, he, what Cerebro is, it's a tool. It's a reverse ASIN tool. I use this on almost every single coaching call that um, I have. So I think it's one of the most crucial tools that you need to have. Um, but I do have a video on how I use Cerebro. I've got a few different videos and I'll put links to them down below. Okay, so basically if I scroll down now, I can see a whole lot of keywords. I could, if I wanted to, go to Match Type and click on Amazon Recommended to make sure that the keywords are only applicable for this type of product, but I wanna leave them. And what I do is I'm going to go to Export and, move and um, export to Frankenstein. And now it's gonna take all of those keywords and take them to the Frankenstein tool. And um, you can see it's taken all of those keywords and broken it down. And I am going to click on remove common words. I can also re remove single words. I can remove anything I want. Um, I can add commas. I can do all sorts of different things. I can use this tool for many different things. I'm gonna click on process, it's already pro processed. I'll just move myself so you can see. And then over here it says scribbles. I'm now going to click on scribbles. So we took all those keywords from Cerebro, which is the reverse ASIN tool, 
it's exported it into Frankenstein, which has taken all of those um, keywords, search terms, and turned them into random keywords. And um, now it's taking these keywords. Now I can see while I'm talking, all sorts of keywords in the background that make no sense, like charcoal and dogs and motion. So I do feel like maybe I should have clicked on Amazon recommended. So I'm gonna go back and do that. I'm just gonna close this and I'm going to go to match type and click on Amazon recommended and apply. And let's see, the keywords look like they make more sense now. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna to go to export to Frankenstein and everything we just did, I'm gonna do it one more time because I don't want a lot of random keywords. I want the keywords to make sense to the product. I'm gonna click on remove common words again. And you can see it's way smaller now than what it was earlier. And I'm going to go to Scribbles. Now Scribbles, also a tool that I use on many, many coaching calls, is a listing optimization tool, um, which is really, really easy to use. So you can see I've got all of the keywords over here that I have exported from Cerebro and Frankenstein now to Scribbles. Now I'm going to go and grab my ASIN, um, and it's going to be the same ASIN I used in the last video. So it's going to be this ASIN. This is a newly launched product. Obviously it's not actually my product, but I've used this quite a few times as an example. They've only got one um, review or which is now called ratings and um, their listing should be optimized because they've already started PPC. So I'm going to grab their um, ASIN and I'm going to import it. So I go here to um, import a listing and I paste here the ASIN and I click on apply. Okay, now you can see that it's imported that entire listing. See natural pine, natural pine wood and if I see here, natural pine wood, etc. So it basically imports everything apart from your back end search terms. And it is important to grab your back end search terms. So grab them in when you do this as well and paste them in here because you may not have keywords in your um, listing and you may have them in your search terms. From the keywords that I had exported earlier, I will now click apply. And what it does is it shows me the keywords that I have used and the keywords I haven't. So for example, I can already see that this listing is lacking the keyword photo. We can see that over here, which is really bad. If we look at what the product is for a second. Okay. So, so when you create a listing, you have to be aware of what the product it is that you're selling, right? You need to know the product really, really well. You didn't know what it can be used for. Obviously this is baby milestone blocks. People take photos with these products and they keep them for their memories, for, you know, books, whatever it may be. And whoever sells this should be doing in-depth keyword research and research about the type of buyer that buys this. Okay. So if this is a product that is used for photos, how can they not have photo in their, in their listing anywhere? Okay. Now this may look like a no brainer to you, but from the amount of people that I coach and I've coached well over 200 people, I've seen lots and lots and lots of different listings. It is crazy the amount of times that we've done something like this and found so many keywords missing in people's listings. So I highly recommend that you use a tool like this and that you do this because if you don't have these keywords as a brand new listing, you may not even be indexed. And that index issue can also affect the relevancy the algorithm may pick up your PPC wise. What I mean by that is you may not be getting impressions on a keyword. Maybe, I don't know, like milestone photo without an S because the, the algorithm may not even find you relevant for it because there's nowhere, the keyword photo is nowhere in your listing. Now, maybe this listing does have photo in their search terms. I don't know. But if we go through, we can also see here countdown. Now, this type of product, these milestone um, blocks, okay, I'm just a mum, so that's the only reason I would know this. I obviously, you know, don't actually sell this product, but if I was to, it doesn't matter what product you sell, you have to know the niche. Now, just because these are milestone blocks that people may use um, to actually put next to the baby, People will also use this for when the woman is actually pregnant. So I've gone into Pinterest. I typed in um, gender reveal, I think it was, and this image came up. So the woman's pregnant, sorry, I'll move it, my mouse. 
the woman is pregnant. The husband, the, the partner is holding 29 weeks. These are the exact same blocks that are being sold over here. Okay. So people don't only use this as a baby milestone blocks. They may also use it for when the woman is pregnant. Okay. So the keyword countdown would be really important because it's a countdown when the woman's pregnant. Okay. Now these kinds of things, some people have absolutely, they really do not care at all for the products they sell. It doesn't matter. I sell products that I don't necessarily have any emotional connection to it. And I just sell them because it is a good opportunity to sell on Amazon. And I was able to possibly build a brand around that. But I today know these products like the back of my hand. I know these products really well. And in general, if you're selling a product, you have to know. So countdown would be an important keyword. Babies would be an important keyword. Look, these are, these are key, weekly. How can this person not have weekly inside of their, like weekly and monthly are, are, is, on their, um, is on their list, is on their products or weeks, I think, weeks and months. You've got weeks here. So like for the keywords like weekly countdown or, or weekly milestones or whatever, how can they not have weekly in their babies, weekly growth, tracking, progression. That is what this type of product is all about. Okay. Photo shoot. These products that are bought for photo shoots, studio, people buy these also to have in photographers buy these sorts of products to actually have inside of their studios. So all sorts of, of keepsake. <laughs> I mean, come on, there's just so many keywords here. Milestone on its own. With okay, it's without an E. That's a that's okay, but for example, is a is a spelling mistake that people may type by mistake. You should also have that maybe in your back end. Pregnant. So I just showed you guys an image of a pregnant woman using this. So definitely this listing is not optimized enough. There are definitely keywords here that I can see that are um, missing. And that is only me taking keywords from Cerebro. I didn't even take it from um, places like Brand Analytics or anything like that. Now, some of this, you, some of you may be watching this and may be like, wow, how did they not have um, babies or uh, pregnant in the listing? But I guarantee you that if you go and do this on your own listing, you'll probably find a lot of keywords missing also from your listing or in your back end. That would make sense and would be important to have in your listing. So it's a quick video that I wanted to make. I wanted to show you how I do this because I do this on a lot of different coaching calls. And I do this on coaching calls with um, people that I coach. And I just think that it's something that everyone should be doing on their own listing. Even if you've had a copywriter write your listing, you should still do this because remember that copywriters aren't necessarily with a selling background. And even though most of the time they would probably pass and you would probably not be missing keywords, it's still important. You can also find keywords like this for PPC, but it's a listing optimization video. So this is how I would use Helium 10's scribbles um, to find keywords that I possibly am missing and in order to build my listing in general as well. Um, something else to take note of, a lot of time that I have coaching calls with people, their titles are a lot longer than what they're allowed to be. So for example, in some categories, you're only allowed 80 bytes. In some categories, you're only allowed 100. In some, you're allowed the 250. So over here on the top right, I can actually go in and change that, for example, to 250. And then I can see how many bytes I've actually used. Um, and yeah, so that was just a really, really quick video. Just to recap quickly, we went to Amazon. We grabbed some of the best sellers, ASINs. We took their ASINs, we put it into Cerebro. We then went in and clicked on Amazon recommended so that that huge list of keywords that also made no sense was down to just the most relevant keywords. And then we went to the top export um, to Frankenstein. We took, it then took those keywords to Frankenstein. I specifically click on remove uh, common words as well. You don't have to, but I do. And then go to process and then there you go. And then here I click on scribbles and then it exports these keywords into scribbles. I then go and import my ASIN by clicking up here on the top right, import listing. And um, I then click um, at the bottom, I can't remember what it says now, I think apply. 
And then I have these. I can also go here and click on copy unused if I um, want to copy these keywords for whatever reason or copy used keywords. And yeah, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I have a discount code for you for Helium 10. It will be in the description below. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. It really helps me to grow the channel. If you're in need of one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'll also put a link to my um, website down below. And if you're not in my Facebook group, you really, really should be. You're really, really missing out on an amazing Facebook group. And I'll put a link for that. Just a whole lot of links will be down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.